Oh God, why did Aer Lingus have to change their iconic livery? I mean, it's just another Yoro White livery now and there's nothing really special about it. But why is this the case? Why have airlines adopted such basic designs and moved away from the incredible liveries of the past? Well, sadly, airlines have begun to prefer functionality over looks in an industry where every penny counts. So starting in the 1970s, the Yoro White idea began to spread across the globe. White aircraft were easy to accept major elements of lessee liveries and could revert to Lisa liveries once the lease was over more cheaply than with a full colour design. Given that many aircraft used by airlines are leased, this was a big reason for the Euro White trend. Transworld Airlines 1975 livery was one of the first Euro White colour schemes to be adopted outside of Europe. Now, more complex liveries take longer to paint, meaning more time on the ground, not making money. Furthermore, white paint is lighter and it also reflects heat, meaning less air conditioning is required on the ground, saving fuel that would be burned by the aircraft's APU. The design industry as a whole is moving towards a simpler user experience. Take Apple for example. They used to have a 3D icon design but adopted a flat, more minimalistic theme across their iOS operating system, with many other companies doing the same. What's interesting is that budget airlines have mainly stayed away from the Euro White colour scheme, whilst legacy carriers seem to be adopting it. The likes of Southwest, Wizz Air, Jetstar and Tiger Airways have all interesting liveries. On the contrary, British Airways, Ethiopian Airlines and Aer Lingus for example have pathetic white liveries. Now one might ask, shouldn't the budget airlines be more interested in cutting costs with Euro White liveries? It seems that budget airlines understand the value of investing in their brand and liveries, whilst legacy carriers seem to think that since they've been around for so long, they don't need to pour money into their branding. But perhaps there is hope and I ask Europe to look towards the Pacific for inspiration. Small island carriers like Fiji Airways, Island Air and Hawaiian Airlines have incredible liveries which honour their local heritage in an effort to stand out from the crowd. Now why are airlines afraid to book the Euro white trend? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below and be sure to subscribe if you liked the video for more aviation content. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you stay tuned for the next video.